you want to make a good impression, wear your finest suit, and, you know, make sure you show up on time. And on Friday, the new guys on both the Mariners and Twins put their best foot, or in this case, feet, forward. Last year's AL Cy Young Award winner Robbie Ray tossed seven innings of one-run ball for the M's. That one blemish came courtesy of former Yankee Gio Urshela, now with many. All-star shortstop Carlos Correa notched his first hit, and Gary Sanchez nearly walked it off with the shot that was caught at the wall. Neither squad had to wait long for the payoff from their off-season wheeling and dealing. And on Saturday, former Cincy starter Sonny Gray took a crack at it. 2016 World Series team, they sold off cornerstones of the franchise. Long gone are the likes of Anthony Rizzo, Javier Baez, and Chris Bryant. Faces that plastered billboards all over the north side of Chicago. It was painful for Cubbies faithful to witness the departure of the superstars that helped end the 108-year championship drought. But there are new kids on the Wrigleyville block, and while the names might not be familiar, names in the NL East couldn't have been more of a mixed bag. Leadoff man Kyle Schwarber went yard in his first at bat with the Phillies as the team aims to outslug their defensive woes. And if you're a Mets player, there is no doubt. The Buck has your back. Showalter led the charge out of the dugout when tempers flared after Francisco Lindor was pegged in the face. Meanwhile, the Braves' new closer, Kenley Jansen, struggled in his first outing for the world champs, allowing three runs, but hey, he didn't blow the lead. Okay, so it was a little jarring to see Kenley in anything other than Dodger blue, but Jansen... No surprise that Nolan Arenado took home the NL honors. The Cardinals third baseman is hitting 500 through his first three games, highlighted by a four hit game against the Pirates on Saturday. It is time to finally put to bed the altitude theory. The former Rocky spent eight seasons in the Mile High City before being traded away to St. Louis, which sits a mere 466 feet above sea level. Now in his second season with the Cards, the six time All-Star has proven that no matter the elevation, He's always reaching for new heights. If you look up Stan in the dictionary, yeah, the slang term made the Merriam-Webster dictionary back in 2017, but the definition is an overzealous or obsessive fan of a particular celebrity. Hey, don't say we didn't teach you anything. But back to the Brett Phillips Stan show. The Rays outfielder thrilled when he came into pitch in the eighth in a blowout situation, tossing 49 mile an hour heat and bringing more theatrics on a feet first slide to snag the pop up right in front of the A's dugout. Rays fans couldn't help but be entertained despite the 13 